Hey there, folks. I got a new knife for you. Um, so you guys know I've been on a Yohimbo 2 uh, kick lately. The, this Yohimbo came up on a Facebook group I belong to. A gentleman was selling it with these uh, tan scales and the black 20CV steel. So I bought that. Um, and then I ordered these scales. These are gorgeous. So I found these on Etsy. And it's this deep laser etching on these titanium scales. I think the gentleman offers some also in, I want to say like an aluminum, but this is titanium. It does it also in G10. So he takes the existing G10 and he laser etches it with a pattern, not, not with this particular like uh, Japanese style, samurai style, but uh, he offers it in G10 with like some kind of like a, kind of like a shell pattern. But he does offer this particular titanium in different uh, designs. Uh, I've been eyeballing this for a while. And I just fell in love with the scale. So it does put a little bit more weight to it. Not much more. Uh, because, and you'll see in, the, in, in my, my uh, takedown video that the scales were basically milled out to accommodate the liners for this Yohimbo 2. And it's exact. It's exact to the original G10 um, scales. Uh, I didn't put a pocket clip on it because I thought, I don't want to cover it up. It just looks so pretty. So uh, I'm just watching my camera because I'm looking to see if there's any glitch. My, my camera's been glitching lately. I don't know. I rebooted it. Looks to be doing okay. Scary. Anyways, uh, yes. So I tighten down the screws and you'll see that in the, in the takedown and put together. Uh, this thing is perfectly centered. So a credit to the machining of the scales. Again, it's exact. It's exact to the original factory scales. I got it down where I can middle flick it. Oddly enough, this actual blade, if you remember when I did the review, hold on a second. When I, when I did the review on this one, which I added the wave to, this is a little rough, right? on the satin scales. But with this DLC coated scale, this is not rough, it's smoother. But I tuned it, it's got no play, it's perfectly centered, it's drop down shut, and it's perfectly centered. So really happy about the quality of the scales and the fit and finish. Yeah, let's just take a look at the lasering. The lasering is deep. So it, it, it has like a rough finish. Um, Kind of like a, I guess like a rough bead blast. I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at the fine detail on that handle. It is sick. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Yeah, it, it definitely has, adds more grip to it. It's grippier. Um, a little, I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely not smooth, which is fine. Uh, adds to the grip when you're holding it. I don't know if some of you that would bother you, but I don't like I don't like satin shiny slippery scale. So this is nice. I've read in uh, some of the forums that I belong to that somebody put some oil on their handles and kind of mess it up. So uh, I did Windex it, and it didn't really add any shine. And again, it's not anodized. In any way, it's a laser edge. So the Windex really didn't make a difference. But anyway, I just want to show you guys that. And then following this is my me fumbling, put it together. All right, guys, peace. Okay, folks, this is me just polishing the uh, the the copper washers. I, I just use a strop. Uh, the strop's got still some of the 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 the, the 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 what do you call it? The material on it. Uh, whatever they call it, the green stuff, the straw material. So I'm just gonna quickly polish them. And you can see here the difference, the difference between the, the factory unpolished copper washers and the this, this is the second one. So I'm just gonna polish this again. Um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Da -na -na -na, bionic man. Anyway. I think it makes it a little bit smoother. And then I'm just gonna wipe it down with my rag. I did both washers. And voila, look how clean. Much better, right? From the original. So these are the scales. 
the original scales, this kind of like a, a OD, I don't know if it's a green or a tan. And you can see it actually came out pretty easily. I thought it was going to be tougher. I saw some guys doing video where they had to pry it out, but it actually popped out fairly easy. It is a snug fit and it snaps into place, but I was kind of dreading that, but it wasn't too bad at all. And you can see how the liners fit into the scales. So these are the new scales. These are the titanium scales with the Japanese art laser etched. And these are exact. I'm going to show you a second when I flip it over. These are exactly the same as the factory scales. They're machined out the same way. I mean, I, I mean, precise, precise. And it doesn't really add too much weight. It does a little bit. It does add a little bit of weight, but not, not too bad. Um, so yeah. I'm just showing you the, the fine detail on the laser etching. I wish I did this to my Chavez. No, my Chavez, my redemption, my OG redemption was handmade. Uh, I think a guy from Thailand did it. But here I'm just going to show you how the steel liners will fit in. Again, both sides precise. And I'll just pop the steel lighter in. Nice, perfect. Uh, really good machining. I popped the second one in. Uh, so I was really impressed because if the machining was off just by a little bit, you know, yeah, I'm cleaning off the schmutz because I had a little bit schmutz from when it was delivered. But if the machining was off just a little bit and the liners just don't sit perfectly, I'm sure there's going to be like centering issues, you know. But these things are so well made that it, it wasn't an issue at all. Um, so I'm going to pop in the blade. I'll fast forward a lot of this stuff. Here I am oiling <coughs> the, <coughs> the washers and, and the blade. I'm showing you this. So this is the, um, the bushing. And it's got like a D shape uh, along with the liner so that it doesn't rotate. It kind of locks in. So you can see the D shape on the bottom over there. And the bushing has the same shape. So it makes it right there. Makes it easy so it doesn't spin and rotate when putting it back together. This is me fumbling around trying to put it in the blade. Um, and I oiled it. I oiled the inside of the hole for the bushing. So it rotates nicely. And then I put some more oil on the, the washers. Um, I want to show you this. So it kind of like rests on top of the bushing. You'll see there. There's like a step and that's on both sides. And again, it's to make it smooth action and rotation. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to fast forward a lot of this stuff because it was a lot of, um, uh, screwing, unscrewing and kind of like sucks, uh, <laughs> uh, testing the fit and finish, uh, removing the screws, popping in the screws back and forth. Um, one thing that Menevade and Nick Chuprin told me, never force it in. If it's the screw's not going in, back it off. It sh you shouldn't have to force anything in. This is me just popping in the liner into the titanium scales. And pretty soon you'll see me put in the standoffs. It's a little bit tricky. It's not difficult, but because, you know, it's got bushings and it's got screws, torque screws on both sides. Sometimes you'll see it'll require me using two Torx drivers, but it's back and forth, but fairly easy. Uh, once I got it in, I uh, put a little bit more out. Once I got it in, the scales actually popped into place with the uh, blade stop. And this is me putting in the blade stop, screwing in the blade stop. Again, it's two Torx on both sides. So sometimes when you, when you do two Torx, sometimes you just keep screwing. So you might have to use two Torx driver. Uh, and again, it was a lot of uh, screwing it in and backing it off, screwing it in, backing off. You'll see me test for centering in a little bit. Um, the whole process took me about, I want to say, like a half hour. It wasn't too bad at all. Uh, and this is me just testing it again because I was having some difficulty. Sometimes it wasn't going in and I didn't want to force it. So it was a lot of backing off and putting it back in. Um, so here it is. I had to use two Torx drivers because... Uh, I also cleaned the screws. It had some, it did have some Loctite on it. 
So I cleaned it off well with an alcohol pad. Uh, I think this is the first time I'm closing it down for centering. I was a little nervous because I didn't want it to rub, and it didn't. It wasn't perfectly centered, but again, I didn't tight, tighten down all the screws completely. Uh, and again, that's a trick I learned from Manavade and Nick Chumper, and you just got to be really patient. I tend to be very impatient, and when I watch the boys working on their knives, it's a lot of taking down, unscrewing, taking down, putting back, screwing back. It's a lot of back and forth to get it perfect. I'm just showing you the centering. Uh, not too bad. I actually get it down perfect, testing out the action. Very smooth, just like from the factory. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you already, but I, I tested the play uh, to see if there was any wiggle. And I got it to a point where I thought I'm pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. Um, and again, it's a lot of testing for play and uh, how smooth do you want it? You have to back off the uh, blade stop screw a little bit to get it uh, where you want it. So it's a lot of testing for the fit and finish and... And where you want it, basically, where you want it, how smooth you want it. And again, at this point, I think I was pretty good. So I'm just showing you guys the scales. And again, I don't think I'm going to put the pocket clip. Yeah, I was pretty happy with that piece.